Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So this is our third video on the topic on image analysis based solution for counting point change in a bank. Okay, so in my previous video, I have first started with this particular image. Suppose this particular image is captured by the camera which is placed on the top of the countertop. Then we have applied thresholding based segmentation but we have found many holes are present. To fill all the holes we have applied dilation. Dilation resulted beautifully but the problem which we achieved that is multiple binary objects was combined to a single binary object and as a result we have applied our erosion technique with proper structuring element size to just separate separate those binary objects right now in this video what we are going to do we are basically going to find similarity between each binary individual distinct individual binary object and the standard uh, dime coin or quarter coin or nickel coin okay so we are having these diameters for these three coins like dime coin should have diameter 31 quarter uh, coin should have diameter 51 and nickel coin should have diameter 41 but first we need to create one particular uh, image based on this particular diameters because diameters we cannot uh, simply compare with this binary object right similar say uh, uh, diameter based circular binary object we need to we need to create from this individual diameters so already in my previous video i have created this particular function make circle matching filter from scratch and here we have used this particular function i'll be simply copying this particular function and here i'll be pasting in a new function Okay, new editor window and I will be saving this function, control C and control S, here I will be saving with the same name, okay, make circle matching filter, click on ok. Now, these particular three values are given to us and what should be the filter size is also given to us in this particular starter code which should be 85, alright, so let's first go ahead and create the filters, okay. So first will be our nickel filter equal to our function is make circle matching filter and then here the first argument we need to pass the diameter okay and the second argument is filter size as you can see in the function first argument we pass as diameter and then w what is w w is basically size of the uh, size of the mask or uh, kernel which we are going to create using this particular function okay right so here we'll be checking in the upward starting part starter code here filter size is specified so we'll be using this particular filter size here okay control v so filter size taken so our nickel filter will be created i'll be copying the same and i'll be pasting three times two more times because here we require our time filter as well as quarter filter okay so now i'll be taking my time filter and pasting here control v this will be my time filter and there is one more quarter filter so i'll be taking quarter filter and i am pasting here so what i am doing basically here here i am creating the filters or actual shape of our different coins so that we can compare these three with each binary object okay let me show you that so subplot 1 comma 3 comma 1 okay in one row three columns i want to display this image so i am so of my nickel filter okay control v and here i can give the title part as title as here uh, nickel right nickel filter and here we can give axis all right now i am going to copy the same and paste here two more times here this will be our subplot 3 comma 1 comma 3 comma 2 and here 1 comma 3 comma 3 this will be my 
time filter this will be my bottom filter ok here also we need to change sorry this will be my bottom filter and this will be my time filter let's run this particular part and let's check what out we are doing Control A evaluate selection. So see here here we have to give a new figure in the letters block. So this is our nickel filter, this is our time filter, and this is our quarter filter. As you can see, time is having smallest size, so middle one is having smallest size, and then nickel filter is second bigger and quarter filter is the third bigger. Right? Now what we are going to do for each Individual binary object. Okay, let me run this complete code once. So, for each individual binary object, we'll be extracting this. Okay, and we'll be taking same size. Okay, we'll be just taking same size or extracting the same size, or we will just make this slice uh, of having same size as of my this individual filters which is having the size of our uh, 85 okay so from central location we know the central location of each binary object from central location will be going to left hand right hand up down side and we will be extracting individual binary object which is having 85 cos 85 size and then we will be taking uh, the similarity. Similarity means, means correlation. So correlation will be computing with individual binary object and our these three filters. Okay, and those with this those correlations values will be using as features for our next stage. Okay, right. So here I can create one empty matrix or array to store the correlation values of individual binary object with our three different nickel time and quarter coin okay so for i equal to one colon length of our uh, so how many binary objects present that we that can be stored in this that's one also all right so Or length of centroid also you can do any anything because centroid and stats one is having same uh, size obvious so length of centroid and now here this particular part will be quite big and very vital so d equal to our what we are going to do we are going to compare uh, individual binary object with our nickel filter, dime filter and quarter uh, filter ok right so here here instead of diameter here nickel filter here also Right. Now we have to take correlation, but correlation uh, uh, to take correlation, this all will be 2D. So we, we have to reset those to one single column, right? So all these things we are uh, going to do in this particular case, okay? So D of i, comma 1, that is, first column will be. Uh, separately using for dime filter similarity then second column will be using to store the correlation value with respect to nickel filter and third one will be using to store the correlation with respect to quarter filter but first we need to extract each individual binary object right so maybe uh, sliced part like this we can write okay so here uh, our original image is mask which we are getting after dilation and erosion that is mask T E R D, right? And here I am going to paste this. So in this mask deal E R D uh, 
from centroid of i comma 2 okay so x coordinate will be basically second one because you know that in image reverse things happens like representation so i am taking second one as my x coordinate and so suppose you consider any single binary object suppose this one so we, if we got x coordinate we have to go to left hand side and right hand side okay and how much we have to go we have to go filter that is total size of the filter by 2 which is already stored in this particular part see filled is a field size age equal to floor of field size by 2 so it is 85 so as it is 85 so 85 divided by 2 is how much see 85 by 2 actually 42.5 okay right so floor of 42.5 is 42 so up to 42 unit in this side will be going okay so here I will be copying this okay so t of i comma 1 uh, mass del here the minus of our field size horizontal direction we are going uh, in the left hand side similarly colon we have to go to the same by amount by right hand side from centroid okay so here we will be doing plus right so this is uh, suppose you consider this particular binary object so we are doing left hand side and right hand side now we have to go, go to up and down also right so here what we will be doing I will be simply taking uh, this is our x part we have extracted and control c and then here comma control v and this will be my y axis respect with respect to y axis we are going to move up down like that okay so this is i of 2 filter size colon <coughs> yeah so slicing is done minimum of x to maximum of x and minimum of y to maximum of y and then we are keeping this as colon that means we are converting to a single uh, structure okay now d of i comma 1 equal to correlation we are going to compute so first suppose we are going to compute with respect to our time filter okay so dime filter then obviously colon we have to give because it works on single dimension and then here sliced part will be pasting okay similarly in the second column what we will be doing we will be pasting this and similarly third column so i comma 2 and here i comma 3 okay and instead of uh, this dime filter here the second uh, column suppose we want for nickel filter and the third column we want for water filter okay right instead of writing like this empty matrix we can assign zeros of uh, the number of rows will be length of centroid because that many number of binary objects present and three columns because one column will be storing the borders with respect to time next one with respect to nickel next one with respect to quarter right so let's hope that this will work okay let's check yep no error, yep, error we have got index with parentheses must appear at the last operation of the valid index in expression. So let us check what error we have done here. Mm -hmm. Have I missed some bracket? Sliced of mass will erode. Okay, let let me just do like this. Slice equal to slice of colon. Okay, let's now run this evaluate selection. Okay, and here if we go, yep, no error we have got. If we just write D and enter, see the values of different correlates for each binary object what is the correlation value with respect to time what is the correlation value with respect to nickel what is the correlation value with respect to quarter we are getting okay so what we are doing here basically let me discuss once so first i am creating dime nickel and quarter filter and then here we are plotting that we are creating one empty matrix okay which is having all the elements as zero which is having number of rows equal to number of binary objects present in our image uh, that is 
uh, segmented image and number of columns as 3 and then we are iterating in for each binary object we are slicing that particular part and here in the slicing remember that in, in, in image coordinate system the second one is x okay so if you want to get get x coordinate of your centroid you have to use i comma 2 then we are going left side um, uh, how much we are going? We are going filter size divided by 2. Filter size is 85, 85 by 2. That floor part is stored in field size. Okay. Why we are taking floor part? Because we have to convert to nearest integer. Because in MATLAB, array index, not only MATLAB, in most of the programming language, array index is integer. Right. So we are going minus means left hand side, plus means right hand side. Now we are taking y coordinate of our centroid. We are taking minus means we are going upward and plus means we are going downward. Now once it is taking, we are converting to a single column using colon and then we are computing correlation. While computing correlation also we are uh, making each our nickel filter, dime filter and quarter filter also as colon. Okay. And we are storing in D. Okay. And see here D is storing the features. Now what we can do? We can apply our machine learning algorithm on this extracted feature. Okay. So suppose we can use k means clustering and we know what should be the k value. K value should be three because only three possible different types of coins present. One is nickel, other one is dime, another one is quarter. Okay. And we'll be showing the clustering in my next video. Code will be posted in the description box. If you want, you can go through that. Thank you.